Could got activism. We at Lehman College. Let's check it out. Public, public. Public, public. Hello. It's a public campus. Hello. We don't talk to nobody. Who's he yelling at? You, Yankton! Come on. Excuse me. Oh, hello? Can we just talk to you? I'm talking to you. Please, can you come back? I'm okay. You have to swipe no. in! No, Who are you yelling at? You! Go about your business. No. I'm telling you what to do. It's okay, it's okay, sir. It's okay, it's okay, sir. Go, go. Yeah, record! Okay, you're supposed to swipe in before you get into the college. No, no, Security no, purposes. No, no, no. Hello? Come. See you later. It's okay, it's okay. Come, come with me, sir. Excuse me. Come, come with me. Why? No, because I'm swapping. No, I don't. So, so why do you want to walk in like that? It's public. No, yes, it's public, but like, you cannot walk in without, without, without checking because we don't know who you are. It's okay, it's public. Hello, hello. My boy is bugging. That boy is on coke or crack something. You see those eyes? That boy is wildin'. He said it, he agreed, it's public. That's a beautiful picture right there. <clears throat> People are bugged out. We don't feed into it. It's CUNY, look. I wonder how long it's been CUNY too. Get off your ass. Goya. 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 Siria Cruz. It's the only one I know. Is that Angie Martinez? No, that's not Angie Martinez. Is that Rihanna? No, that's not Rihanna.
Do you know where administration building is? Administration building? Yeah, thank you. It's okay, Mama. I appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> thank you. No worries. Sorry. You know where the administration building is? It's just a hall. You know where that's at? So you're gonna walk out through here? Uh-huh. You're gonna make a left? You're gonna walk past the building with the black you window? You confused me, you said left? Yeah, make, you make a left out of here, down the, down the stairs, make a left. So go straight, as I'm looking straight? Yes. Towards that building? Towards that building, then make a left. Before gonna, I hit the building, make a left? Yes. You're gonna go up the ramp, you're gonna hit a, uh, a building with black windows, walk past that, the building's right next to Schuster Hall. Okay, Schuster, thank you. Schuster Hall, Schuster Hall. Look at these faces. Cuny, 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 cuny. CUNY POLICE Oh, yeah. 
Do you have the phone number for the Science Learning Center? Yeah, we do. It's um, 718. Can you write it down for me, please? Okay, sure. Do you have to be a student in order to get a tutor? Um, on one hand, yeah, it kind of helps, but even then, because like, I'm a graduate student, I would say the best thing to have other than that would probably be a transcript. And if you did well in the class, like anything better than like a B plus, B plus or better, that's usually good. Usually, they have like more to like A's or minuses. Okay. Thank you so much. I was just wondering, do you have to be a student in order to receive tutoring services? Not to become a tutor. I was just wondering if only this is for students only. Okay, thank but you. I think if you have like an e permit, there's usually like a, a pass for that if you're an e permit student. Thank you so much. Of have a good day. We got, we got CUNY police down the hallway. You can hear their radios. They have the time in every building so that kids can know if they're running late or not. Well, they're technically adults at this stage in their life. Look how nice that building is. I wonder if it's really bricks like that. Choose the building is next. Building after this. I came here when I was younger for a concert. 
It's like a play. I must have been in like four, fifth grade, maybe. Something like that. She's the hole to the right. Lehman College Art Gallery. Andre, I'm a graduate and graduate program. This is where you go. If you want to enroll. No, I'm okay, thank you. I'm gonna go see my supplier right now and see what he says. But I because at the time that the transfer is I think we only accepted Do you have the phone number for this office? Credits. Even mm -hmm. if you have courses from another institution, we are you're already maxed out from the courses you transfer from this institution. Is this the office for the registrar? Okay. Where, what office want, is this? What answer. office is this? So, what do I Richard do? Um, Strar, sorry. What can I do? So, I'm saying in regards to, what can you do in regards to like graduation? Yeah. Yeah, you're missing a lot of credits. 48 credits. And which classes are those? Because I well, took like 12 psychology, I took 14 English, and well, Thank you. Were, you were an undeclared major student, so you didn't even have a major on what you were saying. I did. I went down to the office and I declared the major student. Oh, social work. Okay. Uh, they were, they were told you out. On my list of it's things. Special place in hell. Okay? People that eat dogs. So, special place in hell. I don't mind. Wow. Oh, no. They called her a cow. You rip a crustacean. Yeah, I know. I know. But if people want to eat them, I can be a hypocrite if I want. Yeah, I don't give a crap. Eat the dog <laughs> before you eat the cats. <laughs> Do you need a dog? Cats, you look like a cat. You know what Schuster Hall is? No, you know what Schuster Hall is? Okay. You know what administration is? Of what office? Enrollment. A admissions? Mm -hmm. Admissions. Undergraduate or graduate? 
It doesn't matter. Okay. Down the hall, this gentleman will help you. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you. Anyway. I'll see you later. Yes, indeed. Okay, I just want to make sure. All right. Good time. I'll send you that email probably by the end of the day. How you doing? I'm grateful. How are you? Good. So you're on our missions, right? Yeah. Okay. See that TV is at the end of the car right there? Uh huh. That's your door right there. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. Have a good one. You too. Like back rooms. Did you I was just wondering if you have any pamphlets for anyone that's interested in joining. Just in general, just one. I I do. I'm sorry. All right. Schuster Hall. Lady was supposed to be grabbing me a pamphlet, but instead she's going to grab a supervisor. If I'm not mistaken, that's Chris. It's the person that just helped us. Health education, human rights education. No, I'm okay. Thank you. Extension. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Oh, I only need one. Oh, you only need one? Yeah, that's a lot. I just want to gather. And what does this basically tell you? Everything? Not everything, no. Um, like as far as admissions requirements, admissions requirements will be done by a counselor or myself. Um, Do you need some college credits or all you need is a high school diploma, GED? It all depends. So if you want, if you want to come in with a high school diploma or GED, you have to have a certain score. I think it's twenty-seven fifty for the GED, and it's um, or three thousand for the GED, and it's um, the GED from what year? Because hasn't it changed over the years? It has changed. Um, so one, you did say GED. Right. So GED twenty-seven fifty, and I think the not GED HSED, HSED. Right. is the um, twenty-seven fifty three thousand. Okay. The GED is. 275 300 so it's just and if you point. have let's say you have that but it's not the requirements do you guys give like a, a enrollment test to see where you're at or do you always give a, a test to see where people no, are it depends on um like how old you are because we have something called the adult degree program okay where if you're 
don't quote me, you can't quote me on this one. I think it's 30 or 30 or above. You can go through the uh, adult degree program. An adult degree program will allow you to come in even if you had lower requirements. Okay. It would because you... now you're, you know, they, they feel like you, you've lived some life. Right, okay? right. So now you're an adult, you're ready to learn, and you're about business. Okay. And you, um, you'll be able to take the same courses as everyone else? Or? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You, you're a regular student. The okay. only thing is, is that ADP allows you to get in through that way, and they also offer you additional support. But they'll give you an entry entry exam? It's not really an entry exam. Um, do the regular application. Um, what if you have a, what if you took the SATs? It goes by your SAT oh, scores we can, to I mean, get we in? Can, we can accept your SAT scores, even if they're from 2000. <laughs> right. No, I'm serious. Right. If, you have a, if you have a good score on the SAT, it doesn't change who you right. are, right? It stays the same. A good score is a good score. Right. You know, a bad score is a bad score. We'll accept it. Okay. You know, right now we're test optional, so you don't have to send us oh, your good. scores. Right? Okay. But if you want to send us your scores, it will help, right? Right. Okay. All right. Thank you. I appreciate it. What was your name? Chris Milton. And your, your title? Associate Director. Nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Anything else? I'm just gathering oh, public what information. Do you have to do? This, um, this is Brad. I don't know if they told you, but this is all grad information. This is the undergraduate. What would be the difference between undergraduate and graduate? Undergraduate is someone coming out of high school okay. uh, or did not receive a degree after high school. Okay, uh, so that's anything. So no college experience. No college experience. Is undergraduate. That's, graduate that's is another. like you might have a... a oh, no, you have to have a bachelor's degree. Oh. Associates comes. Associates is two years. Associates two years. Bachelor's is four years. So you have to have a bachelor's to you be have part to have of graduate. Wow. To go into graduate school. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Any that makes professional sense. programs like you want to go into pre med, pre law, you have to have at least a bachelor's degree. Wow. Mm -hmm. And that then that's sense. when you have to take those heavy duty tests. You know, for the um, for law degree. Uh, if you went to law school, you have to. Take the you LSATs. have to put a lot of years in in order for law school. It's Absolutely. like kind of like it's, it's like not being important. a doctor. It's on, it's, yeah, it's you're just taking another road. It's like ten plus doing. years, right? Say again? It's like ten plus years. Mm, not so many, about six. Seven. And then you have to have years in the field, don't you? Right, you have to do that. But at least you get paid while you're doing that. Really? It's just like doctors. I thought doctors some people get don't paid. get those interns. I thought they don't no, get paid. No, uh, I just want to say. Back in the day. Because yeah. if you're doing um, KSAC, you don't really get, That's the, um, unless you, like, substance abuse substance counselor. Abuse? I think it but depends on what job you get. Let's say, but you're usually working Cause if in you, a field, doing right. something, right? And then you're doing your KSAC, um, not internship, I don't want to call it internship. It's I think if you volunteer at a, let's say you just volunteer at an outpatient or inpatient, yeah. you could get those hours, you, right? But you just saying. wouldn't yes. be getting paid. You I really mean, get, of course, because you're volunteering. But you're but hours. Some jobs might take you on if you're in the process of getting your hours and then accept you once you... A lot of jobs, once you get your hours and once you get your degree, they want to hire you right away. So right, that's right. your incentive to stay. Do you guys do KSAC here or anything um, like that? We do, do we do? No, we do not have KSAC. Okay. So a college that I previously worked for before called College in New Rochelle, oh. I'm no longer in business. Wow. Um, they did a lot of KSAC and okay. our uh, College of New Resources. Wow. That was like the adult degree program. Nice. But KSAC, I want to say, I don't think we do like, I know we don't do it on the level that but you can just, I don't know, I, I think you can be a substance abuse counselor, right? Like a doctor mm -hmm. What What kind of doctor would that well, be? You're saying for... Because you have substance abuse counselors, and then don't you have doctors like psychiatrists, psychiatrists, psychologists that psychologists, deal with medicine? Absolutely. Well, psychiatrists deal with medicine, uh -huh. right? Psychologists, deal they, with. Can't, they don't really prescribe, okay? But the psychiatrist prescribes. So, so what would be the, I guess, the official doctor term for substance abuse counselor? Because I don't know if, I don't know if, um, I don't know if, like, psychiatrists or psychologists, I don't think they qualify as substance, substance abuse. Substance abuse counselor, right, right. They might work in the field, so but I don't think they're substance abuse counselors or substance abuse counselors. Right. right, but you said. But you don't need a you don't need a doctorate. I guess that's my doctor, question. Right. You don't need a doctorate don't to be that. No. Right. No. right. That's when you really get a doctor that specializes in substance abuse or 
drug overdose or blah blah right, you know, right. specific thing that they're I'm just happy that that field is evolving mm. because now they're taking the the mental aspect of like mental illness yeah. and drug addiction mm. and this, they they they've noticed that it it correlates with each other you know what I mean so yeah, that's man. why you see a lot of uh, a lot of doctors that are in rehabs that work right. in rehabs because right. then they could diagnose them and you can't treat one without the other you know what I mean mm. so I'm, I'm happy about that but I appreciate your time no thank problem. you I appreciate no it. Do you know where the library is? The library is going to be as well. Okay. Um, kind of remind me of Will Smith a little bit. You get that before? You know, I'm going to say thank you, even though he's like the younger the version of Will. Trials and tribulations. Uh, we're about the same age, believe it or not. I think he's four wow. years old. And that dude was fly, bro. That dude had style, man. Fresh he's Prince. He's a good. No matter what happened, he's still a good, a good dude. Yeah, yeah. I think so. Just, it was a there was always a question who was who was flyer him or Martin Lawrence in their shows because oh, Martin had some outfits Martin had some outfits boy he had the kicks too but they had like a different style it wasn't right? like the same style um, I, I want to send you out this door but I want you to no no I don't get lost no. let me tell you why because I can show you exactly what the library looks like okay you want to go through this path right. Boom. Turn to the right. Where those people are walking? Yep. And make see a right. Straight through. Right? You see that person walking this way? Yeah. With and the... now that person going that way? Yeah. That you know, little bridge right. thing? Yep. Go okay. And the library is right there. That's Past right. this Not building. this building, but the next building okay. right there. Thank you so All much. Right. I appreciate your Take professionalism. Care. God bless you. You too. He was very professional. This is what we need to see. This is what we love to see. I love that, like, when... That's only happened to me a few times. I want to say a handful of times where I've spoken to... Maybe more, but not, like, where, like, really stood out to me. Where, like, I'm speaking to a public servant and it's as if the camera doesn't even exist. Like, they see past the camera and they're not bothered and it's not because they're educated on the First Amendment and they know not to do nothing crazy because they don't want to, you know, go viral or whatever the case may be. They're just genuine human beings that want to help the public, like... <clears throat> and that's, that's, that's the ways, you know, and I, and, I, and I hope and pray that anybody that picks up a camera and deals with public employees um can experience that at least once you know what i mean and they should experience it all the time honestly speaking we're like it's as if the camera's not even there and sometimes i can't even believe why <sighs> there's so many meltdowns why is there so many meltdowns over cameras that's because a long time ago somebody spread false information that you need somebody's permission to record them in public. If, you know, like those big, those movies, and they get that to cover their ass. They get your, they get your permission so that you won't, you know, try to say like you uh, defame their character or whatever the case may be, you know what I mean? But if you're in public, you're in public, you know? So I don't know. Leonard Leaf Library. Let's check out the library then. We'll just be on our way. Security. I hope it's not a student only library. No, it's not, it's open. You have to yeah. swipe an ID. Why? Yeah, you have to. You can't just get an ID to enter in. Huh? You can't just walk in. You have to show your ID. Why? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. Hi. I want to use the library. I want to use the library. You want to use the library? Uh-huh. Are you a student or a staff? No. No. Please, can you come up to it? Why? You can't. 
Why is that? That what? Why is that? That is the law. That is the rules and regulation here. Oh, is the law you said? Yeah. I don't think it's the law. Yeah, it is. I don't think so. I don't give ID because it's public. No, that what? This is public. It's public? Yes. No, you have to show us your ID. You have to give us your ID before you use anything in the library. That is the law. No. No. And we told him that without the ID, he will not have an entrance. He will keep on doing the library and all the rest of them. And as we are talking, he said he wanted to pass through the other visitor. Yeah, he wore um, an ash color uh, track. Ash color yeah. track. Are you saying that this library isn't available to the public? You have to show ID. Why? That's how it is. Is it for students only? Yeah, but if you're from another school, you also have to show ID. Why? You can't just walk in. Is there, is there a sign that says that? That's how it is. It's the rules here. Can you show me that? Can you show me the rules? How? We got CUNY police coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, he is the one. 
he just walked into the library and uh, I called him. I said, Do I know you? Are you a student or a staff? He said, He's not a student, he's not a staff. I said, Okay, can we see your ID? He said, For what? I said, Because that is the law. Before you use the library, you have to show yeah. us your ID. He said, No, that is a public place. That was Actually, why I called this is not a public place, this is a facility. That's what I was trying to ask them. Is this library for students only? Students and faculty. Okay, that's all. That's all I was all asking. Right. That wasn't hard to say. No problem. And what are you here on campus for? Uh, many reasons. Many reasons. Uh, what are they particularly? I don't really want to get into it. I'm just well, if you don't conducting have business. business. On campus, then you have to leave the campus. Why? That's just the rules. Uh, if you don't have business, you can't be here. Oh, I never said I didn't have business. Well, I'm not actually you Um, I'm conducting business on this campus. What kind of business? I don't want. I don't really want to get into it. I just want to go about my business. Then, uh, I'm not to the campus. Can't get into it. Can't tell me why? Why would you ask me? Okay, if I'm conducting campus. business. What kind of business? I don't. Where are you going? My personal business. Check out the athletic field. Your CUNY police? Yes. What's your name and badge number? Flores, five feet, five feet three. Flores, five feet, five three three? Okay. See you later, Flores. Mm. Is the gymnasium here? Yes. Cool. You guys have an athletic field, right? Yes. Okay. Where's the uh, the gymnasium? This is gym. Oh, it's not an actual like gym gym. No. Oh, it's just the the name of it. Yeah. Okay.
montage. What's up, boss? Hey, how are you? How you doing? Do you have a Lehman ID? What's your name and badge number? It's right here. Your name is right here? Right here. Your name is right here? Right here. How Sabrina. can I help you? Sabrina. I just want to know what your purpose on campus today is. I don't, I don't feel like talking to nobody. You don't feel like talking to anybody? No, I just want to go about my business. What is your business? I don't want to talk to nobody. You don't want to talk to anybody? Yeah. Apologize. No worries. I would have talked to you if he was, you know, polite, but you came off mad rude to me. So. Is this an open, is the open campus? No. No? No. It's closed to the public? Yes. If you don't have official business here, you don't belong here. Okay. So my official business is journalism, gathering yeah. public matters of public interest. Do you have permission to have that? Because that requires also permission also. You don't have permission to do that then. I don't Unfortunately, need that's not official business. Do the students need permission to exercise their rights on campus? Yes. Why? But campus it's, policy. It's a, it's not against the law to exercise your rights on a public listen, campus. Listen, what, um, I don't know what your name is. I, I don't know if you want to tell me. I'm Guy. Name. Guy? Yeah. Okay. All right, Guy. Uh, I know you want to go into public places and film and do whatever. Yeah, I'm not, I have not within that one yeah, restricted right, area. Man. That is totally all right. right. You can do that. However, the rule is when you're on a private campus. This is not a public campus. I mean, I don't know if you... Isn't CUNY public? I don't know if you did your research when you did that, but some CUNY schools are public. Some they're all are. public. They're all public some colleges. Are, some are. Some are public. Some are private. All right. Uh, you just happen to pick one. How's a private. How's a CUNY because campus private? Close, because this is a closed campus. To right? what? To the public. The, he just said. Any, he just said that the public any, could come here and conduct don't have business. Any official business on the campus. Then you are trespassing. Gathering I'm matters. You, listen, gathering matters of public interest. I'm you, getting. I'm, I'm can the public come here and get information? The public can the public come the public here and enroll? Come here and get information right. They, that's what I'm that's, doing. That's what they have business doing. That's what I'm doing. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Just letting you know. If you do not have any official business on the campus. I just told you, you my subject, official business three times. You are subject to arrest and trespass and see something. That's all I'm telling you. Right? Okay. Now, if you don't want to follow that. That is on you. I'm just telling you the rules. You I told you my I you. told you my official business three times. Thank you. Can the public come here, speak to enrollment, and enroll into college here? Can the public do that? Yeah. Now they're gonna ignore me. All right, whatever. Uh -huh. Am I committing a crime? Am I being detained? Flores, Sergeant. Am I committing a crime, Sergeant? Okay. Am I committing a crime, Sergeant? You are, actually. Why? I told you I'm here to conduct business. Every student that is on this campus has to show us their ID. Yeah, I'm not a student. I'm a member of the public. I came to get information on how to enroll and, and take pictures. Does yeah. does not take place in the bookstore. Yeah, that's part of my story that I'm working on. Okay. Right? Okay. You know, you know um, journalism is official business in public. Mm, Did journalism. you know that? Everybody's a journalist. Oh. It's called freedom of the press. Yeah. So, um, how can I get information on who is the, uh, the dean? You guys have deans here, right? How do I get information on that? Admissions? I thought you came here to help me. You don't want to help me now? All right, have a good day. You guys going to follow me now? You going to help me conduct my business, keep me safe? No? Guess not. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure you like, follow, subscribe, comment, do all of that stuff to help this guy get his views up, okay?
like, comment, subscribe. How do you know? How do you know I'm not just uh? Like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you. How do you know I'm not just like uh? Journalist, how you know it's not going to NBC or CNN? I could be the dean's son. <laughs> this could be undercover boss, right? I could be Mayor a Mayor Eric Adams' nephew. Or his love child, right? I don't know. No, I'm a test tube baby. <laughs> My dad went to go get milk, never came back. You know what that's like? I want to go to um, HR. Mm, Can you okay. take me to HR? Yeah, let's go. Thank you so much. I want to fill out um, a public records request. Okay. Is that an official business? A public records request? It is, right? Okay. Right here, Cepeda. That's a weird name. Did you marry into that right here name? Or was you given it at birth? Right here, Cepeda. That's a cool name. I'm just following you. I don't, I don't know which way this is like. It's like a fork in the road. I don't know which way you're going. You could drink on campus, right? Because I've been keeping this juice in my pocket. You guys, are, you guys have a legal department here, or just HR? HR covers legal. I'm trying to. That's why I'm asking somebody that works here. But how do you get answers? You ask questions, right? It'd be like that, right? That's your opinion. You're entitled to it. <clears throat> you know how long this campus has been here? No. I suck at journalism. I thought journalists asked questions. But you know, these public employees, they want everything online. Go online. Go online. Go online. No, it's not. No, it's not. You're lying. Why are you lying to me, man? I'm, I'm trying to finish my business. That's the last piece of business I have here. Is getting a public records request. Are you going to help me with that or do I have to do it on my own? Okay. Can you tell me where the... Uh, HR department is so I could do a public records request. I don't need an appointment for that. Are you going to help me with my business? Or you just want to violate my rights? Are you the highest ranked officer here today? Do you have a lieutenant with you? You guys are being so rude to me. Let's go back to admissions. Maybe admissions can tell us. I'm gonna fin finish my business, okay? You're, you're trying to force me off camp. Are you trying to kick me off campus? Are you asking me to leave? On the threat of arrest? Are you asking me to leave campus on the threat of arrest? Or are you gonna help me conduct my business? Make sure you guys hit the notification bell. What are you talking about? Why do you keep saying that? Where's HR at, please? I'm asking you so I can submit my, re my public records request. Your body camera. This gentleman is. Why not be professional to me? Why not be nice? He said, you can come, you can conduct official business, but he's trying to like swindle me off campus for no reason when I clearly stated my business to him on camera. My last piece of business is a public records request. So will you assist me in doing that? Yeah, it's HR is not there. Your booth you know is there. Is? How do you know where it is? I don't know. How I don't do you know trust you. How you know All right, so is? let's go over there. Let's, let's go. go. Come on, let's go to HR. I'm trusting you okay. as a public employee. Okay. Like, comment, subscribe, guys. What are you talking about? Why do you keep saying that? Are you in a, Are you streaming right now or something? Is he above you or is he the same as you? I'm trying to go to HR so I can file a public records request. 
Would you help me? What time is it? Can you take me to HR, please? Okay. Best thing we can do is you need by it's by appointment. Well, I just I just want to fill out my request no, no, and I submit know. it. I don't want them to. I, I just want to submit it. That's I it. I know, but it's deemed through an appointment. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna give you. Can I write out my request with you and you drop it off with them? Because all I want to do is drop off a paper there. No. That's it. I don't yeah, need an appointment to drop off a paper, do I? It's a, it's a law. I have a right to submit it in person. Yeah, exactly. But, they, but you also need an appointment. Why would I need an appointment to file a public records request? It. Is it closed? Even Nobody's we, there. Yeah. They work. They work in virtual or something. Sometimes Nobody's there. Sometimes they work virtual. So sometimes they okay. don't. So that's why sometimes they request. I would understand that. Like they only come when appointments. So but they they might be working they virtual and they only. The best thing is... Can I can I submit it with you and then you just forward it to the HR department? Because, no, I mean, no. technically I can by law. Yeah, but... I can submit I it mean, with I anybody. that, but we, we don't do that. Oh, you know, actually, we'll, but I'm saying we'll give you the number. So what, I, what that does is you can either fax it to them, email to them, or no, you tell them... No, that's why I came in person. Okay, so I don't have those them, resources. I want an appointment to come in so I can hand it to you. And then they're going to tell you, they're going to tell just, you come today or come the, tomorrow. So the way the FOIA law works is that I can just hand it to anybody that works at Lehman College and yeah, they would just forward it. Accept, no. yeah, yeah. Because you know why? You work for CUNY. You don't work for Lehman College. No. But, you work for CUNY. But, but you know why? So technically I can because just... Because technically if they lose it, we don't want to say, well, I gave it to Sergeant Ruiz, so he probably lost it. I wouldn't That's hand... Why. I wouldn't... If I wanted... If I wanted records for the CUNY officers for this campus, yeah. I would submit a FOIA request with you. Yeah. If I wanted records for Lehman College, like the employee, I want to I want to get employee like records or employee records, records sorry, yeah. conduct policy, photography policy. Yeah. I could just hand it to anybody that works for Lehman. The onus would be on them to just forward it to the proper departments. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. The onus would be on them. But yeah. For some reason that I'm sure everybody has you, a oh, mailbox. We never received it. That's why I have everything on and camera. And you're gonna be like, wait a minute, but I gave it to so and so, so you know what happened. That's why we, we that's why we don't take stuff like that. Well, through the for you law, I have that right to just submit it with anybody that works here. If they, I can hand it to the janitor if nobody yeah. else is here, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, but then if it doesn't get there, then you're gonna blame the janitor. Oh, you know, you what? You, know, you didn't give it in. That's what we want to avoid. That's why we want you to make an appointment and go in and you hand it to them. Say, here you go. To do it in and person. In person. So any other forms that you want to hand it to them? I understand that, right, but right there. Do you agree that I I have the right to submit it here today in person? If they lose it, that's on them. That's not on me. Well, I no, still, that's what I'm saying. just by law, you can submit any, any any forms you want. Okay. Where is your Where is your headquarters at? Maybe I want to follow a public records request with your headquarters. Our headquarters uh, on campus. Seven. Oh, here is okay. Apex 109. Is that what I think he was trying if, to? If you want, you take want to take him there to uh, 109. Yeah. Well, What's your name? Sergeant Ruiz. Sergeant Ruiz. Are you? You guys are equal rank. Yeah. Are you above him. Oh, okay. Is Thanks for. Name? I'm Guy. Guy? Yeah. Oh, okay. Thanks for your professionalism. I appreciate okay. it. It's it's a it's a breath of fresh air dealing with these two guys. <laughs> you know. All right. So you know he's gonna escort you over there and you give him whatever forms you need to give him. I was I, I wasn't sure if I was like I understand if you guys want to follow me around that's fine I'm not doing anything wrong, yeah. but you like to threaten me with arrest. Close campus. That's so, what I was asking. Yeah, a unless campus. unless you have official business. Unless you have official and as, and as I try that's to tell him what my official me, business oh, is. I have an appointment with HR or public safety. I'm just, I'm gathering matters of public interest on how yeah. I can enroll, you know, that's that's what I do, I'm yeah. working on a story. Okay. So I'm just gathering public information, which is official business. Yeah. Me exercising my rights in public is official business. Journalism exactly. is official business, so. You know, that, that's official business. Everybody yeah, that's what I was trying to say. To do the journalism. Right. You know, now, if I was just loitering, I wasn't doing anything. If it's a closed campus, then I understand. Yeah. I always thought this was an open public campus. Used that's why I, it pandemic. used to be, right? Yeah, prior pandemic. See? Yeah. I remember I was in junior high school when I came and I was just walking around. Nobody said nothing to me. Oh, little, yeah, no. I was a little kid. Prior pandemic, you could walk in, relax on the grass or whatever. Right, right, right. But, you know, the pandemic, we closed everything down and they want to keep it that way. Damn. So it's, you know, so... It's but as long as you have matter. official business, you can, because it's public, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. That's what so I was, he's that's what was saying. All right, I appreciate there. it. Uh, okay, guys, so Nice care. to meet you. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. There's like a huge difference between this sergeant and that sergeant. That sergeant didn't say like, share, subscribe, and all that like this stage shit. Oh, now you want to talk to me? Thing. You want to talk to the people? Exact, I told him the exact same. Yeah, and I was asking you with my trespassing. You said you could be trespassing. Yeah. Court of public opinion. We'll see. 
I asked you if I was being trust in my trespassing. You said technically you could be trespassing. Yes. So why the other sergeant didn't say I was trespassing? All right then. I'm trespassing in the middle of me conducting business, asking you to help me conduct my business. So I don't know. He's just that disdain. He he doesn't like uh he doesn't like activists or anybody with a camera. So if you come to Leon College, stay away from this guy. He might attack you. Might. It's a possibility. We don't know what he has in his pockets. Oh, he has a fucking gun, too. CUNY officers have guns. It's crazy. CUNY, SUNY. They're all peace officers. They all swore an oath to protect our rights. But, you know, they got to show that little disdain. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you. Appreciate it. Yeah, make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell for notifications. Help me, help me get to 200 subscribers. You wanna subscribe so I get to 200? Sure. Trying to get to hit the bell so I can know when you're bothering somebody else. Bothering? You think what I'm doing is bothering? So why'd you swear enough to protect it? Why'd you swear enough to protect it if you think it's bothering people? You're doing your job, what we pay you to do, no, you right? You don't have to follow me. You could have just directed me to the, you could have directed me to the, every, all New Yorkers pay you. All New Yorkers pay you. Nah, not with that, not with that attitude, not with that attitude. You swore an oath to protect something, but you hate what you swore to protect. That's crazy. You think we're bothering people. If I was praying here, is, is my religion bothering you? Cause you, you're not the same religion. Where the fuck is one? Where's his main building at? 109. Let's go check the map, cause I'm gonna look at the map. Uh, can't HR is in Schuster Hall. Fucking knew it. Why you lied? HR, Schuster Hall. Fucking lie, we can't even trust them. Let's go see. Why'd you lie to me, man? Why'd you say HR wasn't in Schuster Hall? You lied, he was taking me somewhere else. See, I thought you was a man of your word. I guess not. Okay, let me get this beautiful. Look how beautiful this is. That's a beautiful sight right there. Tell them again. Tell them again. Tell them again. Hit the like button. Talk to the people that pay your salary. Mm. Talk to them. They watching you. Mm. We always watching. The people are always watching. You know, you could go into a private business. You can, you know, go, to, go back to school, become Secret Service, FBI, or something like that. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm just saying, if you don't like working on this level, mm -hmm. you know, you can go go become FBI or something or go into private security where the public doesn't pay your, your salary. You, should, you do what you want to do. It's just giving you a suggestion, you know what I mean? Since you, 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 you know, you express that you don't like, you know, your job. So, just figured you can go. You don't, you don't have to be CUNY police. You can, you know, be parks police. That's that's public, though. Mm. You know, you can go into private security. You could be a bouncer at a restaurant or something, you know? You know, go to Connecticut. Right, some wings and shit. And then you got your Second Amendment in New York. You could probably get it in Connecticut or any other state, you know what I mean? Do private security. You know what I mean? Since you don't like working for the public, you think that we don't pay your salary. No, you know. You don't know that you work for the public? You work for CUNY, Public Safety Department, City University of New York. He's walking around with New York on his chest. But you don't think that you work for New York? You know, I appreciate your compliments. If only they were sincere. I'll take them, though. I'll take them anyways. So where's your, um... It's up that rank, right? So oh, cool, cool. You, you lied to me last time. I don't know. I can't believe you, man. I got to build back my trust 
Now, oh, everybody that's watching this, all 200 of my subscribers is gonna think you lying. Yeah. All 200, you wanna be 201, right? Yo, you wanna be my 200 second subscriber? I got like a thousand views all together. It's like my second video. Yo, that's a, yo, five cents is better than no cents, bro. Shit. But you wanna subscribe, right? You gonna show me love? You wanna see yourself on YouTube? Six cents. You're me. Thank you. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Let's get his name title and salary. Let's see how much he made. Officer right here. Said that out. Aquí mismo. You have a public lobby in here? Where are you going? Damn, you didn't even hold the door for your subordinate. Oh, shit. Thank you. Public lobby. They do have a public lobby. Thank you. Hello. We'd like to submit a request. Do you have a lieutenant available? Oh. Guys, help me get to 200 subscribers. Officer right here said better. I say he's going to be 201. Hey, how are you? Um... I'm trying to submit a public records request. A foil, a foil. A foil? Yeah, a foil. No worries. Ugh. Subscribe to my channel, man. It's good guy, good guy activism. Yeah, let me see. Show me. Come on. That's the second time you lied to me, man. That's strike two, bro. Damn, how you gonna build trust with the people that you serve? No, you don't get, you shouldn't. Listen, you want another suggestion? Don't give people three chances. Don't. If a snake bit you one time, you gonna give them two more chances to bite you? Come on, right here, Sepeda. But we gave you two chances. It's okay, we'll continue to fund your livelihood. We just hope that you be a little bit more respectful and polite, you know? That's it, that's all we wanna see. Our public employees, knowledgeable of our rights, respect our rights and treat us with respect and be polite to us, that's it. It's not against the law to record in public. You should know that, you swore to protect it. Let's ask his lieutenant what his name is. Let's see if his lieutenant and him are related. Let's see if they're part of the right here family. He watches too many videos. He probably sees hundreds of cops saying right here, right here. He probably couldn't wait to say right here. My name is right here. What if I was fucking blind? Are you gonna tell me right here? You know, when, knowing when they in court and the judge says, yo, what's your name? Say your name for the record. My name is right here, Judge. Can't you see? They wouldn't dare say that. You wouldn't get that here at this office, but we're trying to find out where we can get it. I want to submit a um, a for you for the CUNY police for this for this office here. All right. right. I'm grateful. I just called our legal counsel, and she said you can submit it in writing. We'll send it to her, and she can get you the information you need. This is for CUNY police, right? Not Lehman College. Well, Lehman. Lean, well, I thought you. By, well, yeah. So each CUNY police for for each CUNY campus is specific for that campus. It's not just CUNY police in general. Well, that would be the headquarters down in Manhattan. Okay. Each campus employs their own employees. Okay. So if I wanted to, because I wanted to file a a for you for Lehman College, uh -huh. um, I was trying to go to HR and just submit it, and they're saying I need an appointment just to submit a public records request. Yeah. 
you, you could do it right. You could either go to the web page because they have it on there. You could submit it that way, or we, you could put. I'll give you. Would you paper. Would you be able to write out my request for me, please? I'm not too good at handwriting. You could do that. <laughs> I'm not good at writing either. My handwriting. If you could write out my request for me, please. It does. You could just do it on a blank piece of paper. It doesn't matter. And then we submit it to uh, Bridget, and she'll respond. So yeah. Wants to write a request? I would like for you to write it out for me, please. My handwriting is. You can write it yourself. I'm not too good. No, I'm asking you if you could do it for me, please. It's your own words. You can write it yourself. I was hoping you could write it for me. I'm dyslexic. I was hoping you could write it. So what is it that you want now? So I want the name, title, and salaries of all employees. Name, title, and salary of all employees that work for Lehman College, including the CUNY offices. All, all the departments or just public safety? Or, or every department. That was a good question. Um, if, I, if I could get the, the budget for 2023. Um, can I get the employee conduct policy for the Public safety officers. Employee conduct policy. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, for the public safety officers. And I want um, any and all emails sent and received, including keywords, photography. Any and all emails sent and received uh, from the dates of January first. 2023 to January 1st, 2024, including keywords First Amendment, um, photography, and auditor. If you can forward that information to. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to write it down nicely. I want to get, I got to give you my email. So you could. Emails, yeah. yeah. My email is activismguy. Spell it out for me. I'm not too good at spelling. A C T, if I'm not mistaken, sometimes I say words backwards. I mean letters backwards. I V E C T I V I S M I S M Activism mm -hmm. G U I. There's no space. Yeah. Guy at gmail.com. Thank you. I was hoping to get a, a a copy for my records. I'm gonna write it out neat so you can read it. Thank you so much. You write it. What was Greg your name, is, sir? Greg. Greg, Greg your title? Greg Daniels, Deputy Director of Public Safety. Oh, nice to meet you. I, I appreciate it. So um, we're gonna send that off once he gets a nice and neat, send it in, send it to our legal counsel, and she'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Um, and that would be Bridget Barbera. So expect an email from her. Okay. Is it is it your, is it the uh, policy of the CUNY officers to identify themselves when asked? They're supposed to. Right. Okay. I was just wondering. And they have it also on there. Yeah. Because I, I didn't know you had any. I'm trying to see the name of Sally's. I'm trying to see if you have any officer's name right here. I ran into an officer. His name was right here. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think he's got his name under his shield. Yeah. That's, that's why it's here. I'll let the, the young lady go ahead. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm just trying to see how many right here they have on, on staff. How many right here have we employed at Lehman? I'm sure there's a lot of them. So this is the pamphlet. This is the book that we had got. Athletics. Retrieve an ID? No, take a picture. Okay. So you're going to have to go to the ID room. Is it a picture? Yep. We have 14,000 students. You have 800 undergraduate okay. degrees. Are they open? Do you know, Do you know if they're open? Yeah. Oh, seven. Okay, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye bye. Excuse me. Yes, you guys aren't you guys aren't connected with Lehman High School, are you? No. Okay.
75 minute video, bro. They always think you edit videos too. He's like, make sure you put that in there. I don't edit videos. It's gonna be an hour and 16 minutes so far. You know? Look, he's, he's liking, sharing, and subscribing right now. My boy is deleting emails. <laughs> the difference is night and day. Between people, with officers with higher rankings, and some of the other sergeants and regular officers, total difference. Sometimes it's not always like that. Sometimes shit rolls downhill, and you'll see you see why they where they get their attitude from, but. I wouldn't expect the deputy director to act like that. So, shout outs to him. Sometimes you go, we've been to towns and cities where the mayors are corrupt. And then you see that the police force is the same because they, you know, they get away with it because of the mayor. You know, the mayor backs them up. And there's quite a few towns and cities like that around this great nation that we could try to you know we try to get them out of that mindset that mentality it starts with the training try to keep try to maintain good um, interactions with law enforcement so that you know especially when they already have the disdain towards activists Try to change their mind a little bit by being cordial and polite. Because, you know, they run into... You know, every activist is different. So sometimes they might run into... They might, it's possible you run into an activist that, you know, curses and does all that. And then that, that might help feed their disdain towards us. But not everybody's the same. There's a lot of us out here, out here that are professional and polite and peaceful. We just want to make sure our, our constitutional rights are respected. That's it. You know. I deal with, I deal with fucking NYPD. Where they, they're worse than, definitely 10 times worse than this, you know. It's a little snottiness, but that's fine. As long as you don't violate our rights, you can say it and act however you want. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, sir. Uh huh. This is if somebody wants to do it online. Yeah. Okay. employees for all departments, the budget, employee conduct policy for DPS is public safety. Uh huh. All emails sent and received from January 23 to now. Keywords: First Amendment, photography, and audit. Right? Thank you so much. And what was your name, sir? Hey, Lieutenant Gonzalez. Nice to meet you. God bless you, fellas. I appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Thank you, ma'am. Take care. All right. I thought you was coming in. I was holding the door for you. Oh, awesome. All righty. This was Lehman College, CUNY. You got to have official business to come on campus. But it is a public campus. 
So. You gotta be, sometimes we gotta remind our public servants who the fuck they work for, you know what I mean? I told him, I, I told him, my, I told him my channel name. He's gonna be, he's gonna be, uh, a 201 subscriber, so. Flores, right? Have a great day, Flores. God bless you, man. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, all right? Good guy activism. Don't forget. All right, let's get out of here. See you later right here. God bless you. Honor your oath. All righty. Two hour video. Dang. I'm good. Uh, it's public. You know what I told you? It's public. It's public. It's public. It's public. Sorry, man. All right, till next time, we're out of here. Love you all. Subscribe to um, People's Podcast TV. Go check out Eli, the People's guy. He's been here before. And I love all of y'all. Peace.